What's like, up, YouTube? Um, so tonight is going to be a movie night, I suppose. Yes. As always. Yes. And uh, we're going to Target before it closes. We can't film inside. But we're going to grab some loot, probably grab some food, then go to Walmart. Woo-hoo. Woo! Say woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. What are we going to get you at Target? Clothes. We're going to get clothes at Target. Okay. Hi, gang! Well, now we're outside of Walmart. So in Target, we both almost got Jaws, the Blu-ray, because it was uh, $12.99. But we figure Best Buy price matches, and we get the reward zone points, so we're just going to do that. It was hard, though, because it was the nice one. They had, like, the little fold-out. Mm. Yeah, really nice uh, slipcase. Nice. No damage or anything? No damage. Mm -mm. I hope the $7 bin is still organized. Oh, gosh. We'll take a look. <laughs> we'll see you inside. Dennis, what, what, what? Where is it? What's happening? Where's the bin that used to be here? Where's the bin? Where's the, bin? the bin's gone. The bin is popcorn. Where's the Starting bin? Starting to freak out here now. Where's the bin? Where's the bin? Where's the bin? Why, why are they doing this to us? What is that one? That's the small one. That was the second Wait, do they have Army of Darkness? Yes, they do. I might get this today. Where's the big one? So they organize it, then they just throw it away? Okay, so we filmed the bin, but it's out in the open. So it's, it's awkward to film, because like, there's people always around it. They've invaded mm -hmm. our territory. Yes. But uh, this is for 2B07. Uh, he sent us Red Dog, an Australian movie. And here's Red Dog. I don't know if it's the same version, though. I don't know. It, it looks, it, uh, thinks it's different. It might be like an Americanized version with like different actors and stuff, but not sure. Just wondering if you knew what this was. I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. know. We just got out of Walmart. Dennis found me a very special Blu-ray, which well, I'll show you when we get home. He's so excited. You got two. I got two. And now we're off to Taco Bell. Oh, I love movie nights. Mm. Oh, it's just, oh. What's up, YouTube? So we just got back from Walmart and Target. Uh, we got some stuffs. But first, we got some stuff to show. Mm -hmm. So over the past couple of weeks, we've been sent a few things. Uh, first off, the newest thing. Mm, what's in here? So we got a... Uh, uh, an envelope from Rossi Boy 19 link in the description box. He was nice enough to send over the UK version of Friday the 13th, the first one. Holy crap! And I'm always on his videos commenting about how the UK but the UK covers are so much better. I love this one. It's so interesting because it's called it, the the tagline is the terror before the mask because the mask doesn't come in the series until the third movie. But it still has it on the first uh, uh, cover. The mom is the killer. Dennis, did you know that? Yes, I did. Okay, good. How dare you? <laughs> I don't know. Anderson wouldn't. I mean, in the UK, they, they, they're not afraid to show some violence on their covers. Look at that. Oh, boy. Hey, don't worry about the kids. <laughs> but awesome. Thank you so much, Rossi. Rossi boy also sent me a note. I will read that. Hey, John. Hope you are doing well. I love the channel, buddy. Keep up the great work that you are doing. Hope you enjoy this Blu-ray. Sorry there is no slipcover. I know how much you like your slipcovers. Dude, don't worry about it. They always get damaged and then I get OCD about it. Thanks for being a great friend and support of my channel. Can't wait to see what other videos you and the, and the guys come up with next. So keep buying Blu-rays and remember that you always have the support of the movie collecting community on YouTube. All the best, buddy. Take care. Ross, a.k.a. Rossyboy19. Thank you so much, dude. This is freaking awesome, isn't it? And it's, uh, he says it plays on every player. Speaking of which, we got another package in the mail. This big one, all the way from Australia, once again, from 2B07, or Mark. <sighs> what is this, Dennis? Is that a plate? Close. It can be used as one. Uh... It's a handy dandy Blu-ray player, not only a Blu-ray player. Oh. It is a region-free Blu-ray player. Take a look at this. Take a gander at this beautiful specimen. Holy moly. Wow. Oh. As it's from uh, Australia. It has an Australian male uh what's this called? Oh. Prongs. 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 Then he also sent us a letter. Uh most of this is technical stuff, just how to use it and whatnot. So yeah, we'll have to change our Power from 240 to 110. 
Okay, yeah, so this is all technical stuff, which we will obey. We have to. We have so to. So we'll take a trip to Radio Shack as soon as we can. Thank you so much. I don't know what we could do to repay. I mean, gosh. I, I don't know. I'll give you I'm, part of my soul. I am speechless. Um, I owe you my first kid, I believe. I. <laughs> you own some of my soul. Right? Yeah. That sounds reasonable. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much, both of you guys. Oh gosh. Thank you so much. What the frick? All right, let's show our uh, not as impressive uh, uh, loot that we got tonight. Well, now I feel ashamed to. Lots of finger points. How to get the little bites. Reese's. It's all desserts. And then movies. Dragging me to hell. I've always heard good things about it, so I had to get it. It's been tempting me at Walmart. It's tempting me and tempting me, so. Seven bucks? Yep. Sweet. I'm sorry, seven eighty-eight. And then the second one, I got Fanboys. Now, I haven't seen this one either, and I was a little iffy about it, and I just looked at Rotten Tomatoes and kind of a little turned off by it. But the reason I got it is because this lady came up, and there, I only saw one version of it in the pile, and this is the first time seeing it in there. So she came up and said, oh, it's my favorite movie and all that. And that's the only thing she was looking through the bin for. I was like, okay, it must be a big deal. No, what's crazy was before she came, you picked that movie up, and you're like, John, have you ever seen this? I heard this was really good. Like, you didn't ask me about any other movies. You picked it up and you were interested in it, and then a lady yeah. came by looking for it, and then yeah. you're like, now I have to buy it. Yeah, and then I found another one, so I'm like, okay, now I'm kind of like, <laughs> I really have to. I'm obligated or whatever. It was God. It, it's the she second was an, she was other one angel. that they have. It did get a bad review, but I don't know. It could That's be actually really good for you. It, you like more bad movies than good. I do. That's fine. And then Taco Bell, of course. Sweet. John Stern. What did John Taco get? Bell, I got like three burritos, taco, whatever. Who cares? Dennis, thank you. I got two Blu-rays. Oh, what a magical find. Well, first off, they have a million of these in the 788 bin. Finally just, finally got it. I hope it's a good transfer. I think it is. So I had to get this. And we were about to leave, and then I, I said, Dennis, I know I've seen Evil Dead 2 in the bin before. I know I have. Evil Dead, never, I've never seen it, does, doesn't, doesn't exist. But Evil Dead 2, I really want it, it's my favorite one of the series. Go and find it. And guess what he found? How did you find this? I've never seen this before in the 788 bin, ever. Ever. The and first one. it was one. the only one in the there. The first one, there's a million Evil Dead 2s yeah. at Target, whatever. But you found the first one, I'm so happy. This is an awesome cover, I'm sure it's a good uh, transfer, even if it's not. I wouldn't mind it because it's not a movie that needs a good quality. It would actually probably look creepier if it wasn't a good transfer. But what's cool is it was in the, it was in the bin, and it rang up for nine ninety nine, and I was like, uh, it was in the seven dollar bin, and so she uh, knocked it down to seven dollars just because she was nice, but it was really supposed to be seven eighty eight. I saved eighty eight cents. Woohoo! Between the both of us, we got three Sam Raimi movies. Yeah. All right, so now it's movie night time. We got to pick a uh, movie. I don't even know a movie. <laughs> Oh. oh, what you reading? Oh, hello. It's nine on Wasting Money when we'll be diving again into the magical world of Rambo. Rambo First Blood Part 2. They're really going to call it that? They're really calling it that? It's well, like, okay. I guess it kind of makes sense. It does make sense. Like Part 2 of the first. All right, so um, I'm not expecting this to be great, but, you know, we got to watch these. We are men. Love this case. Are you ready for the testosterone? So we'll let you know what we think of the movie when we finish the movie. Get down. Hi guys. We just paused the movie, but I completely forgot to mention something. Um, we filmed in Target. We were bad boys because we were looking at Tangled. And one of the DVDs of Tangled, we saw something that is just ridiculous. We'll show the clip right now as I'm talking right now. Yeah, look at that corner. Look at that corner! Cheap corner. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say either. Like, how does that even happen? But I expect so much from Disney. I can't believe they got that got through. To pay money for that? That much money? Well, it was just a DVD, right? I... But still. Yeah, ridiculous. Anyway, okay. Back to Rambo 2. 
What's up, YouTube? We just got finished watching Rambo First Blood Part 2. Ooh. Part 2. A quick synopsis. He's recruited to um, go to Vietnam and, and find some POWs. And if he does find any POWs, he's told to just take some photographs, you know, just for proof so that they can send, you know, people in to, to, uh, to help out the situation. And, of course, he finds the POWs. And no, he doesn't just take photographs. He goes over and beyond. Yeah, he rambos them up. He did bring a camera, though. So the plot is fine, but the screenplay, I thought, was a little thin. Stallone is given more to say, and he's forced to actually act in this one. And it doesn't always work out. I mean, this movie has a lot more flaws than the first one, but this movie also does a lot more than the first one. In the first one, Stallone didn't really have to act. He was just kind of, uh, he was just kind of out in the forest killing people. He spoke with his actions. Yeah, he was kind of like a, like you said, he was kind of like a caveman yeah. in the first one. Just kind of grunted and didn't say Which that Which I kind of like. You were always wondering, like, what kind of a person is this? This one you were kind of able to, like, okay, well, it's that kind of person. The way that they pictured him in the first part was different than in the second part. Yeah. I liked him better when he was a mystery. The editing for this movie wasn't always the best. Like, even some of the action scenes... It just went too fast. Like, he, he grabbed, like, two knives, and then the next cut is the guy's already stabbed. Like, we didn't we didn't see him stab him. One second he's covered in mud, stabbing someone. Then, like, the next scene he's clean. and he's Clean, the, clean. And like, he's, like, up in a tree. Like it wasn't one of those you just jump in the water, jump out, and okay, you're half water, half mud. It was totally no mud at all. And, and where does he find time to shave his chest and his face and whatnot? It's an action I mean, movie. I, I, yeah. And I understand that. It's like, well, you can't be that picky, which it, that's true. But overall, I, I liked it better than the first one. It's complicated for me. If I was a real critic, I would give this two stars out of four because it does have a lot of flaws and a lot of scenes that just don't work. But personally, I would give this three out of four just based on my enjoyment. I enjoyed this more than the first one. If that makes any sense. I think if it took the setting of this one and the way he acted in the first one, that's how it should have been. And also in the first one, I was on the edge of my seat a lot because I didn't really know what was going to happen to Rambo. Because in the beginning he got shot. In this movie, Rambo is kind of indestructible, kind of like a superhero. He's running through a field and they're... <laughs> They're blowing up bombs all around him. They just miss him. You know he's not going to die. He's king shot when it comes to shooting things. Like, right. It's like, wait, you, <laughs> yeah, you know. be able to shoot that from that far away? Like, no, like, pause and, like, just gauge and then let go. It was just, pew. Yeah, he's kind of like a god in this movie. And there's a scene where someone has a gun and he's shooting right at Rambo. Shooting, shooting, shooting. <laughs> and then Rambo gets out his bow and arrow. And the guy with the gun starts running. Yeah. And uh, Rambo gets him in one shot. And, of course, it's a bow and arrow that explodes. I don't That's know, what if, I said. Yeah, I don't know like, if the guard knew why, that, though. Why is the guard running? It's an, a bow and arrow. Wouldn't the guard, like, be like, I've got You're a gun. shoot me with that? I got a gun. I know. Yeah, so there's some silly parts and whatnot. But I enjoyed this more than the first one. But I know that it's not as good as the first one, movie-making-wise. The only thing that I wish that this one had was, like, in the first one, you know how he had those kind of, like, flashbacks? Yeah. You think going back to this place yeah. and being readapted to this environment, he'd have a couple of those flashbacks. He seemed at home where you think you'd be a little bit more, like, chaotic about it. Yeah, they could have gotten a bit more brutal, I think, in this movie. A little bit more disturbing. Yeah. And was there a point in that girl character? Her bad English <laughs> was inconsistent bad English. She'd use some words and then... And then she would say similar sentences where she would have to use those same words that she used before, but then she didn't know them. She goes to one point where she can't talk, and then perfect. <sighs> Pardon me, can't wait for the third one now. I'm looking forward to it, yeah. It's a fun movie. It's a fun action movie. Yes. Yeah. Well, that was movie night. Rambo First Blood Part 2. <gasps> what a title. Okay, we're at this piece. Uh, Good night. Yeah.